Good evening. There's a dramatic development in the state's child protection scandal with the head of the embattled Families SA stepping down. David Waterford has quit after admitting he misled the minister. The crisis that's already stunned the state today claimed a career. Mr David Waterford, the Deputy Chief Executive of the Department for Education and Child Development, uh, has resigned. The head of Families SA, the agency where it's alleged a worker shockingly abused young children in care, stood down after admitting he got key facts wrong when briefing the minister. I need to have confidence in the people that are providing the advice. In a statement, he says he trusted his memory of source documents, which was a mistake. Upon revisiting the documents on Friday night, he realised he hadn't read a critical section, which meant he'd inaccurately briefed the minister and chief executive. Public remarks by the Premier and the Minister were based on this information. It was obvious to myself quite quickly that the position was going to be and continue to be untenable. But authorities say Crown Law advice prevents them revealing what the inaccurate briefing was about. What exactly are you talking about though? Well that's the whole point, I can't tell you. It was reported last week that the arrested man had previously been cleared of inappropriate behaviour towards a child in his care, but it's understood this matter doesn't relate to Mr Waterford's resignation. This is incredibly disappointing. Uh, we are losing uh, a decent person from our public service. She misled me in the briefing that I received last week and she clearly misled the people of South Australia. Ultimately, that means she should resign. The opposition leader received another briefing today, but the spirit of bipartisanship last week has well and truly evaporated. This is an agency which is in crisis. I just uh, refuse to accept that in any way whatsoever. And the department has gone through and continues to go through quite significant internal reform. The government's previously claimed the arrested man was subject to a thorough screening process. Tom Richardson, Nine News.